What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to fix some subscribers resumes. We want a fresh batch of resumes to review, so I'm gonna go to our community tab here on YouTube. Let's check back in a few hours. I got jobs to do. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm applying to data scientist positions. Okay, so we're gonna do five seconds where we look at it and then we have to look away. So whatever we get after five seconds, we're gonna decide if we would give them an interview. Stop. Okay, what'd you get? They went to MIT, they know Python. Uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> I got, they went to MIT, they have a data analyst role and they've done like some workshops and courses online. Do you think you would invite them in for a data analyst interview? Probably, MIT, well, I don't know. I'd look at it more. I, I'm not sold on it yet. So let's dive in. Okay, so obviously MIT is the most important thing on here and you have to dive down to the middle of the resume mm -hmm. here. So I would right off the bat. Smack it right on the top. I also think she could shorten her descriptions on her MIT and her undergraduate as well, just so they don't take up as much space. Also, their fonts are way too small here. It is, especially if you zoom out like this, it's it's a little wordy. You just kind of need to cut some stuff. But there's no like clear result or deliverables, which is like key for a resume. If you're a data scientist, your resume needs to be all about the numbers. So I would make sure every bullet point had a number like these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a heavily improved experience section. When you first glance at it, you see all the relevant job titles to what they're applying for and you see statistics in each bullet point. Definitely more polishing they could do with formatting and stuff, but this outline is how you're gonna succeed with the data science resume. So the last part is really the online certification, which I think is a great section to include. Speaking of Data Camp, we love Data Camp and they are the sponsor for today's video. Data Camp is an online learning platform that makes it super easy to build data analytics skills at your own pace with tons of interactive courses. So regardless of what career or industry you are in, data and analytical skills are super important. And with Data Camp, you can really increase those skill sets and stand out from your peers. Data Camp offers the first chapter for every course for absolutely free. I think this introduction to Python course is absolutely necessary if you're doing a business role or a programmer role. Python is used everywhere and it's just a skill set that you should have. They also have course tracks, but also career tracks if you want to deep dive. Data Engineer with Python is one of their career tracks, for example. They have 95 hours, over 25 courses. If you want to be the Python expert at your company, totally dive in here. I think that's really cool. So if you're on the business side and struggling with spreadsheets at work, or if you're a programmer that wants to level up their skills for data data and analytics, we highly recommend Data Camp to gain those skills. Tech careers are super competitive right now and you really want to stand out from your peers any way you can. So you can use the link below to sign up for Data Camp for free. I'm a full stack developer, mostly looking for jobs in New York City in anything but PHP. Something in the mist! <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Five seconds, go. Okay, what'd you get? I tried to read all the big bolded text and the only thing I saw that was relevant was web developer. All right, so first off, the number one thing up at the top of this resume is skills and expertise. Just FYI, this section is completely used by bots. Recruiters, they'll go in, they'll search Java developer and a bot will search resumes looking for these tags. This is the least important thing you need on a resume and you wanna cram it into the bottom right corner where it will never be seen except by a bot. So I would 100% get rid of that. And then the experience section looks um, pretty good. It's, it looks like he has some really good bullet points for the job that he worked at. And since he only, you know, he only worked for that company for about a year, um, I think he would really benefit from having some backup experience here to kind of support his skill set, especially if he's looking to not do PHP in his next job. You need to add a couple of projects that, like personal projects that you worked on. If you're the creator of a mobile game or a website, um, just doing a personal project and like sticking that on your resume so that you have something to support, you know, that year long experience at a non-tech company. If you don't have actual work experience, like create your own experience and make really cool things that you can show off in your interviews. All this space we've created needs to be just crammed full of personal projects. And he can condense that little skills section into like one or two lines at the bottom. Nice resume. 
I love your channel. I'm a sophomore at University of Waterloo. I'm looking to apply for data science internship roles. My resume is not good right now. <laughs> All right, let's look at this not good resume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, I got nothing out of that. Guys, this is real. Like, you don't understand. Re recruiters go through stacks of like 100 resumes at a time. They would not spend 10 minutes reading every bullet point you have. Okay, so let's just like take a minute and like really read through this. So they have their education section. Nothing is like bolded or everything's just like super indented. So it's really hard to see. And also the first thing they do is put the dates there, which I would definitely put like- That's like- Your yeah, university and like your major. Most important stuff is top left. Least important stuff is to the right and bottom of the page. So you don't want the like fifth text on your page to be September to May. So it looks like they're majoring in physics and astronomy That's and cool. they're in the honors program. That's amazing. Why uh, isn't that, why doesn't <laughs> it say that before the date that you're there? So all of like the content is there, but the formatting like just completely messes with this resume. Us tech people, we think we need to build everything ourselves and do everything from scratch. Here's what happens, you get weird lines that like the line doesn't even, it's not even the mm -hmm. same right there. Bullet points, look at these bullet points are tiny and we have huge ones. They're not lined up at all. You don't need to do everything yourself. We went and Googled resume templates, clicked on one of the, like the first ones that popped up, punched this in here. Look at this, that is a hundred times better. It's not perfect. The skills section's up at the top. Professional summary might not be the most important thing, but this looks so much better than this and it's not that much work resume templates they're a lifesaver josh has a free resume template that both him and i use to get our jobs in silicon valley so if you want to use josh's resume template uh, there's a link in the description here's the last one just saw your post on youtube thought i'd give it a shot i'm not actually looking for a full-time job lol but rather a software engineering internship all right let's check it out five seconds go Okay, I saw they have some awards. They are an overachiever on the GPA front. So in gut reaction, I feel like I would keep looking at this resume. It looks really full and like they spend a lot of time on it. Yeah. So I'd keep looking at it. They are studying materials engineering, computer science, part of the honors program, have a great GPA, software engineering intern. We are talking about skills being for search engine kind of stuff. This is a perfect example. Just cram it all onto one line. I also think this is a great example of like the power of project. Like I'm really intrigued by the things that they built. I think they highlighted it really well. One thing I would immediately change here, when it comes to experience, if the recruiter's gonna know the company name, put that first. If they're not, then put your relevant job title first. It's interesting. Um, there are sections. I'm a little puzzled right now because they have an experience section, which is probably things they're paid for, projects they did on their own, and then like research or service projects. I think their like research experience is actually a lot more interesting than like their computer aid or teaching assistant experience. So the fact that it's buried at the bottom, I mean, it's just not optimizing the real estate of the page in my opinion. I would have software engineering intern then the next experience, I would have research assistant for a semiconductor laboratory. Like both of those, incredibly impressive. If it seems overwhelming to try and get rid of a bunch of bullet points like this, here's some advice. I normally do three bullet points. The first one explains what the project is or what the company does. And then the last two just cram them full of numbers increase page speed load time by 25%. Super specific example numbers for the two or three rest of the bullet points there. And not every role, you're gonna be able to measure perfectly what you did or quantify exactly how much you saved, but you just need to estimate and you kind of gauge and measure your impact. Overall, this is one of the best resumes we've seen. You can tell they put a lot of effort into it. It's really consistent. They just need a couple areas to polish here and cleaning stuff up, rearranging things. And I think this is a really solid resume for sure. Thank you so much everyone for submitting your resumes. I'm sorry we couldn't get to all of yours, but it was really fun to read through and see what you guys are working on. We wish you the best of luck in all of your job hunting this winter. Let us know if you want us to do more of these. If you like this kind of content, be sure to let us know in the comments. See you guys. Bye guys.